Sponsored by Battle Tribe. For awesome stickers, patches, t-shirts, art, and more, check out our Etsy store, Battle Tribe. Hey everybody, it's Matt Rendar. Welcome back to the channel. Just wanted to do a how I paint my Tyranids. I've been asked a ton of different times on social media, on YouTube, Facebook, and stuff on how I do my Tyranids. And I've always half-assed and put together some half-assed videos. So today I'm like, you know, I'm going to, this new awesome Norn Emissary just came out. So I'm going to take you through steps how I paint it. So here we go. So I just put this miniature together. It just came in the mail. Friggin' awesome. Really badass. I love how big it is. So I uh, did some, what do you call it? Sand and rubble. And I put some 3D, I think Skull Forge, 3D, Station Forge, 3D printed um, Deathcore Krieg looking guys. One guy's missing his leg. One guy's missing an arm. Just to give that Starship Troopers, dead bodies everywhere vibe. And so, but um, the next step, I am going to prime it with a Army Painter Black. So stay tuned to the next step. Really excited about this guy. He is badass. All right, step one. All right, so we gave uh, the miniature a nice thorough coat of uh, Army Painter color primer, my favorite. So sprayed it from underneath and around give it that that nice rich black that chaos black color that everybody loves so that's the first uh, first step spray your miniature black nice thorough coat you can also go through with a um a vallejo primer and with a brush and get anything underneath it any spots you missed but i did a pretty good coat so on to the next step okay everybody we're back um so here we go so everything has been primed black i actually went into it with a vallejo and, and got all the the hard to reach spots and um let me see here get this good. got all the hard to reach spots of uh what do you call it black so there's like no great hardly any great plastic i did the sand over i like i kind of like putting sand in the texture on um, before the primer because the primer will give it an extra uh what do you call it um grip you know grip to it it's it's more stuck down so from the the paint drying so all right so the first color for my uh what do you call it my tyranid is i i like to use like a dark bluish um like a bluish black so i use base incubi darkness it's changed color uh names throughout the years but it has this this cool like gr bluish blackish gray dark gray look to it so i'm using it's a uh, citadel color what do you call it layer paint give it a shake and i'm just gonna go through the dry brush i was gonna airbrush but i was like you know i don't want to i don't want to putz around with it today so give it a nice all right so here we go so hitting it love this color it kind of reminds me of um in aliens the xenomorphs the way they look like with the, the different filters that they used in the movie they had like that blue even though they were brown the blue lights it gave them like a uh, a blue blue look and you can see that in some of the models and toys and they kind of have this color so pretty cool just just getting in there and um you don't have to worry about the carapace the carapace i paint black with a bunch of hedge eye lighting but for the soft sort of soft underbelly carapace areas i like to get this color on there so get in there Putting all those cracks in his face so got a lot of surface got the tail There's all different ways to airbrush. I'm just putting it out there. So we'll be back when we finish that. All right. So now we have that coat, a nice little dry brush. I did some of the brains and I, you know, I have a little bit on the carapace, but we're going to go back over there and do some black. But, so now what we're going to do is we're going to take some um, Eshin Gray. 
and this is going to be so we still got some of this um incubi darkness but so it's going to darken it up a little bit but we want a nice dry we're not going to go completely over just like the highlighted parts so elbows hands the face so i'll give you an example so this one we're going to be kind of light with but we're not going to get everything so give me an example so we're going to do the hand actually we need more than that so get that nice and dry so just a little light so just get the hand the elbow the top here the elbow the kneecap so you can barely see it. We're gonna go back and build it up a little bit. So same thing here, like kneecaps down near the feet, but we're not getting inside the the mid midsections of the different parts, like right here, the crotch, center this, a little bit of the face. You know, and then once again, you get the hands, the top of this, just the elbow. So then on the tail, just the top, I'm trying to leave the darker color underneath it a little here on the thing you can't see it too much on camera but it's there but um there we go. and then um so then we'll, we'll now, now the, the dark color is starting to slowly come out of the, br the brush so now we're going to go to just a straight up now it's only going to be a little um eshing the light of eshing gray so now it'll be a little lighter you hit it just hit it just to hit it boom just on the tail, the face. We're gonna go in there and highlight with a brush. Same thing with the back of the tail. So just um, very easy dry brush and everybody knows how to do it. Just adding that. So that should be it for that. All right, he's got a little spit on there. That's pretty cool. Part of his mouth. So, we got some. These guys in the bottom here, they're they're gray. So we'll hit them up. Breeze coming out pretty cool. So, just a little bit of a dry brush. So, now you can see, you can see with that. So, the lighter, lighter colors we're gonna do edge highlighting and stuff, we're gonna to do with a, um, a detail brush. All right, stay tuned. All right. So, with me, like you can paint a miniature as well, or as you know, minimal effort or a lot of effort. But I always like to try to meet somewhere in the middle because I paint armies and stuff, and like I don't go too crazy with just doing one miniature. I'll put more effort into like a single character or a big monster like this and everything. But to me, the most important thing is the face. If you do like a above average face, you're gonna get the um what do you call it that's where everybody's face is goes to on the model so what i'm going to do is i take some black and just go in there and get inside the mouth so when i highlight the teeth it pops a lot more so try not to nice and tight got his eyes it's like a little there that just to give that black border so when I do the teeth and he's got another eye right here getting those teeth so I'm trying to draw the black lines around the gums so and then let that dry and then we'll come back in some more so 
so you could see like so when I do the highlights I'm gonna try to do the teeth in three colors we'll do a, a, a dark brown a dark bone and then a white and then the eyes will do greens so um all right all right let's get we're gonna do some so that's while that's drying we're gonna do some um carapace we're gonna use this eschen gray again but with a, a small brush and we're gonna go in and do we're gonna do some edge highlighting on different parts so, this is all gonna come together when we do the um, the black carapace you'll see how bright it looks so I'm just that dabbing it in dabbing it in these are little armor plates they're gonna be black so and even on the black carapace I use the Escher Eschen gray to um, give a high edge highlight, but we didn't paint that black yet. Not too many colors. I'm a huge Don McCarran fan. Who knows what's going on with the new edition with them? I have two of them. I used to do all types of cool stuff. I love that giant, crazy alien bug look. So, like, when this guy came out, I got pretty excited. So, he is smaller than the Don McCarran, but he's still pretty badass. So. Nice and gentle. So. For me, the rest of the model is you gotta do what you gotta do, but it comes to the face, really hone it in there. Try to get as nice, nice as tight as you can. Sorry if this went out of focus. Just tapping in those colors. So knuckles. Just trying to hit the, the edges that are worn and stuff. So like here, like this elbow would have a lot of wear, so I'm hitting it with tapping in the highlight. Up here. So I'm actually gonna um get that. So I I always get my miniatures up to a certain point and then if I have to I come back, add some paint. A lot of my tanks are always kind of like a work in progress. I play with I've had them for years and then like I'll do something new with them. So I'll come back when I get the next color going. Starting to come to life. All right. So we're gonna go move to the carapace. But so I just use I'm just using black. I'm just getting in there. This is like the most. This is the longest part. A little arduous. So just getting in there and just gonna do all the armored plates. Just both straight up flat, black or I'm using Abaddon Black Base from Citadel. So I'm just gonna go do that. We'll come back when that's all done.
Okay, so now we have all, all of the black done. So you can see it. So we're gonna go back in with the uh, Escher Gray, the, that dark light Codex Gray color, do that, and then we'll so we do that as a line highlight on all the high points of the blue. And then on the carapace, the same thing. Just gonna wait for the black to dry. All right, so now, going back to that Escher Gray, Eschen Gray, Eschen Gray. You've been, you've been following me on the channel a little bit. I am horrible, horrific, horrible, horrible, horrible names, remembering things. I'm just a, just a disaster. I'm losing my mind. So what we're going to do now let's see, get this on, is uh, we're going to go in. And like the way we were doing with the, um, what do you call it? The underneath ca uh, skeleton structure, the armor, we're going to do that with the plates as well. So I'm going to do a little little on both, but same color on both. And um, so just hitting, the, just hitting the tops, a little edge highlighting. And then you see like the black nail, I'm just gonna add a little to that too. So, at the end, later on too, I hit, I paint a gloss, a clear gloss on all the carapace, all the plates to give it that wet Xeno, Xenomorph aliens look. I don't do the whole thing, but but it's cool too because the shine on the carapace gives a highlight to itself that's magnified by the uh, highlight that you, you put down. So, okay, so here's some black plates. Let's see if we can get closer. Yep, just edge highlighting. That's the first highlight, a little bit on the tip. But then you see down here, you got this, you got the little ball. See, like that would be scraped up against everything. Look at that. So both colors I'm hitting with this gray. Just kind of get lost in it and just keep doing it. Little spike. Look at that. Got this little ball here. Just tap it in. So very cool. I love the process, I love it. So, we're gonna continue to do that, and I will come back to the next stop, next spot. But you can see how it's coming, the little edge highlight. Very cool. All right, so now that we've taken Escher Gray and I've high, edge highlighted carapace and you can see all the different spots right there let me move the camera up a little bit so that's it so i've highlighted all the edge highlighted all the prominent top parts of the the blue that dracari uh dracari blue i can't pronounce anything and the carapace you can see it on the top of the head i even did some highlights on the brains i'm going to do white and then do a contrast paint uh paint on the brains but all right, so that's that. All right, so the next color I'm going to use this is a P3 color. I think it's like a light gray, but um, I loved P3, man. I don't even know if they exist anymore, but um, Privateer Press had some really cool paints, some really high pigment count. This is Bastion Gray, so it's kind of like a warm um, light gray. It's got, like a, I think, like a light brown to it. But I'm going to go in there, and now both the, car um, the black carapace and the the uh, structure of the body, I'm gonna do the same thing, but even less of a highlight now. So, just a little, little less. And I'm gonna do the whole same thing. Just, just tapping it in there. So, so even smaller. Just gonna, just, just the extreme edges on this miniature. So, I like this color because it's like it's it's got a warmth to it. So, but just like the just the extreme tips and the sharp edges. So, it's gonna look really cool when it's done. So, I'm sure 
Alright. I'm gonna start doing the face and everything. But um just stay tuned and um I'll show you the next step. I'm just gonna finish this up off camera. You can see right there, like just a little just a little bit. It's alright. Now all the edge highlightings I tapped in all the um that light gray color, so you can see it. It's really starting to pop now. It's pretty awesome. This is really what a badass looking model. So, all right, going on to the next step. I'm gonna do some white. Next, I'm gonna do some white in the teeth, in the eyes, and some of the brain material, and um, get it going. I'm, so, I'm still torn like if I'm going to do green in the brains or if I'm going to do um, the light blue for like the psychic. Like they've been doing some of the other bugs. So, all right, stay tuned. Oh, another thing too is I've been, I used to just do black for the carapace, but I started adding red to give like that Starship Trooper Warrior. So like some of the bugs I've been doing um, a red stripe. So I'm going to probably do a red on his, um, that giant horn on his head. So... But if you don't want to do that and you want to stick with like the strictly xenomorph look, you don't do the next step with the red that I'm going to do. So, but first I'm going to do some white, get some white in there. Okay, we've added um, skull white. Actually, what is it called now? It's called, yep, white scar white. So we added it nice and, nice and tight to the uh, teeth, the eyes, which we're going to hit with contrast paint and the eyes. And then I, I did go with the, the white for the brains. I think I'm going to use like a really dark blue. The whole thing is, <clears throat> I don't want the eyes and the brains to match. So, probably, and like, I don't want it to take away from it. I kind of want it to be like there, but dark. Uh, the, the focal point of this miniature is that little tiny face. So, pretty cool. So, let's see if we get to But, um,. Yeah, that's it. Another step. The next step I'm going to do is I'm going to apply the um, contrast paint. I'm probably going to go with the dark, dark blue for the brains, maybe or maybe this. I've been using um, Talasar blue for like my zone tropes and uh, the um, I forget what it's called, the psychic tyrant. I forget the name of it. One of the new psychic uh, HQ bugs, but. That's it, so. All right, stay tuned to the next step. So, apply the white to the teeth and the eyes. All right. Now, we're gonna do some, I guess we're gonna do the brains and the uh, the eyes with Talas R bloop contrast. So, do this up a little bit. I'm gonna, use, I'm gonna use a small brush for the eyes. I'll try not to screw this up. Just a little tab. Look at the other side. And get in there with that blue. So getting in there, getting the brain, using that contrast paint. I really like the glow. I wasn't gonna do the blue, but it kind of kind of works. 
I might dull it down with some darker washes. We got some, we got some brain stuff back here. Just going over what I did in white. Coming out, <clears throat> coming out cool. Let that dry and uh, we'll go to another step. <clears throat> All right, I'm gonna take some non oil shade and we, I'm gonna, I wanna make like a lot of, create some shadow. So I go in there. Any of the parts, like under the neck and so forth, I'm going in and just darken up what we have with shade. So, make all the stuff pop. You hear my dogs barking upstairs, so. But, see like under here, just all the little parts, we're just gonna create some shadow by shading it out, so. Under these arms and stuff, you can do it in between the ribs a little more controlled like don't just lather the whole thing up I think it'll add to it so good times all right I'll do the whole miniature and then I'll come back and I'll show it's a little but you can see see with the lighting and stuff you can see so like all these underneath places, like in the crotch and inside these legs and stuff, you just hit it with a little bit of um, that shade. You can see it popping already, like under the neck. So you want like that face just to be the center of your, the cent focal point of the miniature. So I'll be back with more.
Okay, so for this step, as I said before, if you just want to keep that alien xenomorph look, you're just going to go to the next step. But I'm kind of, as I was, I've been painting my army for years, I kind of want to give it like a little of a bit of a highlight, a little bit of a spice. So I've been going with like a red stripe for, um, on the, either on the head or the back, kind of like the arachnid warriors from, uh, 1997 Starship Troopers. So what I'm going to do is I actually started doing it on my leader bugs is I'm going to give him some red on that big horn and like, and then we'll see where it goes and maybe, you know, bring it up a little bit on his crown on top, but it'll just give it a little more like this is the head and a little more, a little more pizzazz. So <clears throat> let's see here. I'll throw this up. So first one to do is I'm going to start with like a dark red. I am going to go with, let's see here, we'll do uh, maybe Screamer, 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 you, maybe Screamer Pink as a base highlight. There was another color too I had laying around. Where is it? Yep, actually, yeah. So I'm going to use this. This is a good paint. <clears throat> use P3, Murderous Magenta. So it's pretty much, it's close. It's a little brighter than this. You could probably add white the Screamer print, uh, Pink to brighten it up. So... I'm gonna kind of do like, just kind of feel it out. So here we go, get a little, a little red on the brush, a little as much. And I'm actually, see if you see all the um, highlight I did on the, on, the, on the edge, I'm actually gonna kind of leave that, leave that there. I'm not gonna paint it. I'm just gonna kind of like fill inside, kind of like just tap it in. So even though he's got like a red carapace, it's gotten worn down to the, the base of the exoskeleton. I think that's kind of a cool look. So just kind of like tapping, scratching it in, leaving that detail work that I already painted in there. So I think that's kind of cool. So this is also gonna be like the shadow for the red. So I'm just kind of Kind of dry brush it down into there. I think I'm just gonna do that. I don't think I'm gonna bring it down to the tip above his head. I'm just gonna keep it like that. So, hmm. Maybe continue just a little bit down the back. Just tap some color in. Actually, I'm digging that. I don't know if I have to go all the way up. Let's see. So, actually, yeah, we'll do a little up here. Let's see, sorry, it's not focused in. Do a little up here. Yeah, we'll do a line down. We'll do a stripe down his back. All right, I think that I'm kind of like I'm kind of like digging that. So I'm just gonna replicate that on the other side. I'm gonna go back and hit it with like a blood red.
kind of digging it. You hear my dogs barking up top. Oh, cool. <laughs> but just keep layering it in. So, all right, I'm gonna finish this up on camera. We'll come back for the next color. All right, for the red highlight, we're gonna go for the fist in red, my favorite. So we're just gonna go back in there and even smaller. So, look at that, it's really happy with that. So, I might go back in and add a little orange to that red to even give it a, little, a tad bit of a highlight. I don't wanna make it too bright, but um, it's got that very, see, but it makes it pop now. So at a distance, you're like, there's the head, there's the face. I think that's really important. So, I'm really excited how this is coming out. Even more excited to use them on the game table. So. All right, I'll be back with the uh, finished on the red. All right, so I'm actually going to go in and I finished up all the red. Let's see here, get some light on this thing. So you got all the red. Really happy how that came out. Just gives it that that little bit of freaking spice. But like once again, like the head is is the, the face and the head is the most important to me on a miniature, and it's where your eye goes directly and everything else is kind of so I added the red. I'm actually just going to add a little bit of red, half and half with orange highlight. Actually dab some red on some of the dead guys down there. We'll get down there. Also too on the base, I, <clears throat> I dabbed all that crappy apple par uh, barrel paint. So that's all in there and all like washed in there. So that gives us the base to go in there and we'll do our do some work. So, so now we are going, now we're going to go in there with some orange and red and we're just going to we're gonna highlight some of the parts in there. So I'll be back with the finished product. All right, so I added, added the orange highlight on and I finished the crown. I'm actually glad I didn't go any further. I just kind of stayed down. Originally I was gonna come down to like right above his mouth, but I left it black. So there's about three colors in there. So really happy. He is just a bad dude, man, so. Now we're gonna go into, um, I'm actually, let me find it. I'm gonna add some green into his vents. So all these little slits in his exoskeleton on the carapace and everything, I'm going to um, do some Katachan green. Actually, no, it's Stellan green, base green. So, so I love this, this OD color. So I'm just gonna go in there and like so, add it, not go to the edges. And that gives a little highlight. So just work through your miniature and do this. Bam. All right, 
I will come back with the finished product. This one right over here. Gives it that slimy, green, acidy blood course, corpsing, coursing through their veins. <laughs> See, I can't talk either. Actually, we'll add some. Let's add some. Add some to these little tentacles back here. I'll be back. All right. So I added green to all the little slits, the little breaks in the exoskeleton. I added those. I added some uh, green, which I'm going to build up with some brighter greens on that tyranid growth. So now I'm going to go in with a dry brush and do some highlights on the um, the dirt. All right, here we go. Oh, yeah. um, let's find here. Let's get like a sandy color. All right, so we're gonna use some, we're gonna use some XV888. Well, <clears throat> this, just a nice dry brush, just go in there. Try not to get it on the, the actual stuff. Yeah, it doesn't matter if it gets up on there a little bit, but I'm kind of just tap it in there. But this is pretty much how I do everything. I'm going to do a lot of um, weathering powders and stuff too, so this is kind of like, just like a base. Got a little on the guy, but it's alright though, because they are a little on their feet a little bit. These guys are going to, I'm going to go in and tap colors in on the casualties. Put some of this, on this de debris. So yeah, my Tyranids, I do like the deserty, sandy kind of base, a little bit of vegetation, but... We'll go in there. I don't go too crazy because I use weathering powders. Like I don't do like five different highlights and stuff, but just to get it, get it up under there. The bricks and stuff. We're gonna do blood. We're gonna do everything in this. And you can, you can bring it up just a little bit on the claws too, a little bit. So we use definitely use some like technical like Nurgle's rod under there and stuff. We'll get it. We'll get it freaking going. Just get the metal plate. So really cool. Big fan of that Starship Trooper look on my bugs. So, so. all right. Let's go in for the next section. So that's the next step for the base. Actually, let's take, what is that brush I just used? We got this. I'm actually going to take some, we're going to do Mechanicus Standard Gray. We're going to go in, mix that up a little bit. I am a messy, not clean, dirty, speed painting maniac. So, go in there. So, I'm just going to tap in. Some of the details. I don't want to go too crazy with the base because it's the base. I'm like I'm gonna hit it with weathering powders and guys little helmet. We're gonna hit these with a wash as well. So just giving those those little highlights of the duders. Some poor Deathcore Creed guys that I got overrun by this Nornus Emissary. I'm excited to do the other variant, the, um, I think it's a Nornus Simulator. He's got the, he's got the Die McCarran vibe going. That's what I'm all about. So, got some of his armor. Yeah, I'm gonna hit this with um bad uh, black wash. His boots a little bit. Just tapping in those highlights. I'm not worrying about every detail, you know, just hitting the high points. Dude's missing his leg.
really cool. Just adds to it. That scenic base. Let's see if there's anything in here. We can throw some some big things in there. I'm gonna hit it all with a wash, so just a little bit. Pretty cool. All right, we'll let that dry and we'll come in with some weathering. All right, so I'm going in with a light gray now with um, the Bastion Gray again from P3. Um, it could be, a, I think it's an Eschen Gray or Escher Gray, but just going in and just tapping in some details, some bright points. We're gonna bring all that highlight down with a wash soon, but just to get it. Also too, off camera, I, um, let me see here, focus in. I just added some metal. So it's like to the respirators, I added blue to the lenses. It's a little, it's a little sloppy, but once again, I'm gonna weather the crap out of the base. Another thing I did off camera, because my um, my pack of do wild dogs in my house were barking loud as can be, is I took some of that Zandri dust and I just did some highlights on those bricks and like some of the rocks and everything. And then did some like Katachan green or Castellan green I did on the alien parts. I'm gonna go back and do the carapace black like I did everything else. But um, that's it. I'm actually gonna do like a, probably like a slime green, like a, a, a really, like a goblin green kind of um, highlight on those as well. So stay tuned, letting this dry and uh, we'll be back. Next step. All right, for this part, <clears throat> we're gonna use Athrax uh, Earthshade. And I'm just gonna actually, uh, man, some worm green from P3. And we're gonna go in there and uh, give some highlights to the slime <clears throat> you have to be too perfect with this because we're going to go over with a um a brown wash we're going to go athrax earth shade we're going to go in there I even got in there and highlighted so you could see it all done. I'm going to go back and now when it dries with a, with a wash. Alright, Agrax Earthshade going in there. I'm just going to hit all these dudes. Give me a little, a little water to the mix. We'll be back when I finish that up. We'll do use a little dirty down rust. There's some pipes. There's a pipe under there. And some and it's that sheet metal. So we'll use that. I'm just gonna put some of that down in there. And then we're gonna let the, the base dry and then we're gonna come in with um, weathering powders.
All right, everybody. Now all the washes have um, they've dried, and you can see, and they got some weathering in there. I got some oil, you know, for the the rust is dry. So the last part for me is going to be the um, the what do you call it? Uh, doing the weathering pigments. So I used to use secret weapons. Uh, so I, unfortunately, they went out of business. So now I'm using. Um, so I'm going to use some huge miniatures weathering powder. I'm going to use their sand. So actually I use other, I have that one. And then I have uh, the peat, which is really good. But the sand, I kind of do like a aridy desert look. So there we go. So the important thing is just try to get it on the base, not try to get it on the duders. So I'm actually going to use a smaller brush. Let's see here. I guess smaller. We'll get a, a smaller, crappier butt brush. Um, I think I one right here. Yep. So, put the powder in, and away we go. So, sure. so, I get on the guys, it's all right, but try not to just keep. I used to put like a protective coat, I don't even do that anymore, it's just kind of. You don't want to overdo it. You can overdo it, but I don't. Go up there. Axis off, so that's it. Got that. Now I'm gonna go back with. I'm going to let me find it. Get some technical paint. Um, I'll be right back with that. Now we're gonna use some blood for the blood god. Get some some dab. And then we're gonna hit. Got the leg. Do a little spillage. This guy right here. Let's hold in his side and we'll give him we'll give him a little blood. Got a severed arm. So you don't want to go too much. Just enough. This guy. So So that's it. I think that's enough. I think that really does it. Let's see here again. There you go. Not too much. Maybe a little, little smudge right there, a little spread. Actually, let's put a little more on this thumb. There we go. So, all right. Now you got that. On to the next part. All right, we're gonna shake the base off. And we are going to use, what are we going to use? Um, we are going to use, I think, Morphang Brown. Use some Morphang Brown. Get like a decent sized brush. And take cover, take care of that. Let's see here. Just 
start painting it. Bring it all together with a nice. You probably take two coats. It's a little thin. So, and I will be back when it's when it's finished. <clears throat> all right. All right. Now, I'll set this out. The worst little camera tripod ever. All right. So now we have that done with the base. We're gonna do the. Was it? We're gonna do the gloss coat. So I'm going to use hard coat, technical paint. You can use any clear, clear paint. So start on the back, work my way up. So I just do the black, the carapace, and any wet parts. So, so I just go in there and add the shine to it. Just like that. see so I like the shiny carapace on the exoskeleton I think it really gives it that wet alien Giger xenomorph look so I'll be back when I finish it So here's the final reveal, uh, gloss coat, art gloss coat all over the uh, carapace armor, not the exoskeleton, and I also did the wet parts, but I really like that shiny black, the red on its crown looks really badass, and just really happy, I'm really excited how it came out, can't wait to get it to the table, I did gloss on the brains as well, inside the mouth and the teeth, so hope you guys enjoyed that, I got this. Got this base full of dead Imperial Guard all over the place littered. This, this bug just ran through it all. And then you have all the wet, that xenomorph look. So that's how I do it. I hope this helps a couple of people out there. It's a pretty easy paint job to do. And you could simplify it for smaller um, Tyranid creatures. But I'm glad you enjoyed it. I hope um, it helps. All right, everybody stay tuned. I'm going to do more painting tutorials soon. Just stay tuned. Like and subscribe. Thanks again, everybody.